Welcome to the next instalment of our On Device Research Academy videos. Today, I'm joined by Sarah Robson, Head of Advertising Effectiveness at On Device Research. And she's here to uh, explain a bit more about the rise of omnichannel campaigns and how these can be most effectively measured as the media landscape continues to fragment. So Sarah, can you classify what you see to be indicative of an omnichannel campaign? So over the last few years, there's been a move to all media channels that were traditionally bought in silos, such as TV, out of home, all being moved into one place and booked through one platform. So as the channels have become more digital, then as that's involved, then the buying of those channels was all being booked digitally through one DSP. And we see this um, with lots of clients recently. So why have omnichannel campaigns been so difficult to measure in the past? So as media buying was very siloed, so you had teams looking after out of home, teams looking after TV, teams looking after online digital, it was measured in a different way. So each channel evolved in its own way. And therefore, when you're trying to look across the whole plan, it was very difficult to have a consistent framework to measure that. So for example, TV was often measured on claimed behaviour or out of home exposure measured on recall of either the brand or where you were or it was done pre and post. So each evolved in a different way, each has its own merits, but actually there was no consistent framework in how that was measured. So that now makes, as we all the platforms are converging into one, makes it hard to measure. What should accurate omni-channel measurement cover off? Yes, so if you're measuring lots of channels that's being brought through one platform, it's really important, first of all, that you measure the media that you're looking at in the same way, so each channel in the same way. So it's, for example, a passive methodology. Um, it, otherwise, again, you could have bias in what you're looking at because it's measured in a different way. The next thing it's important to have uh, when you're looking at exposures, for example, to have a single source panel that you're measuring against so that you can dedupe exposures. The important thing for an advertiser to realise if it's being bought in one place is what is the effect of people seeing out of home and digital together or TV and, and digital together. And so therefore it's important that you have a single source where you'll be able to match, for example, an exposure back to a person and that you can dedupe that exposure so you can see that person X has actually seen it three times on different platforms. The other is to have a consistent measurement framework. You, you need to measure the same metrics across each channel and you need to measure it in the same way. So what can on-device research offer when it comes to omnichannel measurement? So on-device are very well placed for measuring omnichannel and one of the main reasons is that we own and operate our own panels. So that allows us using our different exposure um, technologies, for example, one pixel can pick up audio, it can pick up CTV, it can pick up digital and online. We have um, a passive methodology to, for picking up exposure to out of home through an SDK in our app. So that allow, we're very well placed because we have the same methodology measuring exposures, but equally because we're matching it back to a person on our panel, we can do that all important deduping and see who's been exposed to which platform. The other is that we have a consistent framework that we use. So we use the same brand KPIs across every channel that we measure so that you can compare apples with apples. And the other thing is we do balance our sample, as I mentioned before, it's important that you get your profile. So we always over recruit and uh, our control samples so that we actually then can balance um, each of the strands across each other, but within the strand as well. So what is the benefit of measuring omnichannel campaigns through one provider? So really, it's this better accuracy. So with everything being bought in one platform, it's really important for advertisers, agencies and so on to understand which channel is driving what metric. If you're not doing that in a consistent way, then you actually don't know that sample bias or research bias that's got in there. So actually, it's really important that you, you have it measured in the same way to have accuracy there. So help you inform your planning decisions going forward. The other is simplicity. If you're measuring it in different ways with different providers, then you've just got a mixed match of everything together. And what on device can offer is actually everything in one place measured in the right way. And then finally, there's this de-duping, as I mentioned before, it's really important that you can get that multiplier effect. And if you weren't doing it in one place, 
um, you wouldn't be able to do that. So do you see Omnichannel becoming more or less important as we head into 2023? So I see it as being more important over the last, I'd say, 18 months. The requirements of our clients, such as Yahoo and Zaxis, for having omnichannel measurement has grown and grown. And I can just see this sort of convergence of, of media into one place growing with our clients. So the need to measure it in a consistent way is definitely growing. Thank you, Sarah. We hope you found this video today useful. Uh, but if you have any more questions or queries on omnichannel measurement, please don't hesitate to contact us at ondeviceresearch.com.